believe it or not, using different combinations of four different seven move algorithms that you know, you can solve over 20 different ZBLL cases. Let me show you how. These are the four algorithms. You probably know them as soon, anti-soon, back soon, and anti-back soon. And because you know these four algorithms, you can use them to memorize these ZBLL cases instead of trying to remember the notation. Let's go through all of the ZBLLs you can do set by set. The first important thing to note for all of these algs is that they will all be two GLL algorithms, which means that they are ZBLLs where all of the corners are correctly permuted. When this happens, you can solve the entire case with just R and U moves, and because those are the only moves that these algs use, all of these cases are going to be two GLL cases. So this is the T OLL, and when you have a two GLL case for this OLL, you have matching colors up here and matching colors right there. So all of the ZBLL cases that I'm going to show in this video for the T case will have this corner permutation and then how you tell these cases apart is by the edges and I'll point out how. So for this case, the way I recognize it is I've got this whole block right here which includes the edge and on this side I have opposite colors. And when I have this, you can hold it like this and the algorithm goes back soon, you anti back soon. This case looks very similar to the previous one. Of course, we have the same corner permutation. We have the same block across the front here, but this time the opposites are on the left side. On the right side, there's adjacent instead. And when you have that, you hold it from the same angle as before, and this time you do soon, U prime, anti soon. All right, for this T case, um, we have opposites across the front here. So you have opposite here with red and orange, opposite here, and there is a block along the left side here. So these are both matching green. For this one, you would do anti soon, U soon. This one is the mirror case. So we have the opposites on the front just like before, except this time there's a block on the right side instead. So for this, we do a U2 from the previous angle, and this one is anti back soon, U prime, back soon. Now this case is really fun to recognize. This one looks just like a Z perm, and there's two of these cases, and the way that you remember which is which is that for this one, when you hold it with the two oriented corners in front, the Z perm will have two swapped edges here on the right side, there will be another one where they're swapped right here. But for this one, what you do is anti soon and then straight into anti back soon. And that solves your ZBLL. And here's the other Z perm case. Like I just said, this time the Z perm has two swapped edges on the left side. And then for this one, what you do is U2 from that angle, you do anti back soon straight into anti soon. And here's the last one for the T set. So for this one, it's clearly just two twisted corners. You've got this whole big block along the side here. And what you do is hold it from this angle and you do soon. And now you can just do lefty soon or you can do U2 back soon. All right, now we're moving on to the U set, which is the one with the two headlights and two oriented corners. For this one, the two GLL corner permutation looks like this. On top, we have two opposite colors this time, and we still have the matching colors on the sides of the oriented corners. So this is the first case for that, and we have the whole block along this side, and on the right side, we have opposites lined up. For this one, Hold it with the headlights in front, and you do soon, you, anti soon. This case is the mirror of the previous one. We have the same block across the whole front here, and this time the opposites are on the left side. For this one, we hold it from this angle, and what you do is back soon, you prime, anti back soon. 
All right, for this case, instead of having either a block or opposites in front here, we have adjacent colors. So blue is adjacent to red, so those are adjacent colors. And along the left side here, we have a block, and they're both matching orange in this case. So what we do here is we put the headlights on the right side, and this one goes anti-soon, U-prime, soon. Once again, we have the mirror case of the previous one. In the front here, we have more adjacents. Green and red are adjacent. And on the right side this time, we have the block matching orange. So, once again, we put the headlights on the right side. And what you do here is anti-back soon, U, back soon. Once again, we have two Z-perm cases for the U set. One where the two swapped edges are right here, and one where they're right here. For this one, they're on the right side like this. And what you do for this case is hold it from this angle and do back soon, soon. And for this case, where the swapped edges are on the left side, you do a U2, and this time you do them in the reverse order. You do soon, straight into back soon. Once again, we have a two corner twist case for the U-set. So this just has a big block going all the way around that you can use to recognize it. And the way you solve this case is you put the headlights on the right side and you do anti-soon, U2, anti-back soon. All right, now we're on to the L-set, which is the one with the two diagonal oriented corners. And to recognize the two GLL corner permutation for this one, you have opposite colors right here, and this sticker will be an adjacent color to both of them. So for this case, you can tell that you basically have an H perm, and what you do for this one is you put these two misoriented corners facing away from you like this, and this algorithm is basically triple soon canceled into each other, and it goes like this. Okay, for this L case, so you have your misoriented corners right here, and right here you have a block and then adjacent colors right here. All of these L cases are going to be a little bit harder to recognize, but it's completely possible with a little bit of practice. So for this case, you put the two misoriented corners facing you like this, and you do anti-soon, U, back anti-soon. For this case, you have a block right here, and then opposites right here in front. And so for this one, you can hold it from this angle, and you do soon, U, back soon. Okay, for this case, the block is right here. This might, this might seem pretty similar to the second alg I showed in this set, but for that one, the block was right here. So the block is here, and right next to it, you have adjacent. And so you hold it from this angle, and what you do is anti-back soon, U-prime, anti-soon. And for this one, you have a block right here in front, and then along the side right here, you have opposites. So for this one, you hold it from this angle, so your oriented corners are in the front left and back right, and you do back soon, U prime soon. Now, just like the T and U sets, the L set has two different Z perm cases, and I prefer to recognize these from this angle. And so there are two cases one where the two swapped edges are around this corner, and the one where the two swapped edges are right here. Now, we're going to start with the one where they're right here, and what you do for this one is back soon. U2, anti-back soon. And here's the other case. For this one, the two swapped edges are on the left this time, so not around this corner. And for this one, you just reverse the order of the algs. You do anti-back soon, U2, back soon. So if my counting is correct, that's 21 different ZBLLs out of just combinations of those four algorithms. Now you might be wondering why we only went through three of the OLL sets and not all seven. 
And that's because those three that I went through, T, U, and L, are by far the most useful for ZBLL and 2GLL. And for the other sets, uh, most people agree that ZBLL isn't worth it. So the only time I'd use ZBLL for one of those is if I got the alg itself. So if I got soon or back soon or anti soon or something like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was really helpful and I hope it motivated you to learn the rest of those two GLL sets. By learning all of the algs I showed in this video, you only have five algs left per set from those two GLL sets. So you're already more than halfway done with learning them. I highly recommend that you finish. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time and I hope you have a great day. This is Brody, signing out.